What's going on, everyone? It is October 22nd, 2020, NFL week number seven. We have a Thursday night game tonight, Giants at Eagles. Eagles favored five, 44 and a half the total. Um, last week, I screwed up. There's no Thursday game, so <clears throat> I waited till Sunday, made a video, put it up last second, and then realized way after the fact that you can't hear the audio at all. So video is posted, but there's basically no audio on it. I basically went um, 500 in my picks. My Twitter picks, I went 5-5. Five and five, was up a little bit of units thanks to teasers, and um, I went big on the bucks was my top play. So... Um, I also forgot to do my power rankings last week, which I've got those ready to go, and I'll post those on my Twitter, Twitter shortly. Twitter's bpink underscore at, sorry, at bpink underscore 13 is the Twitter. So, go through week seven picks here. Um, Eagles Cowboys tonight, or sorry, Eagles New York Giants tonight. Giants are a five point underdog. I don't like this game really at all. Two crappy teams. Eagles have a ton of injuries. I'll take a half unit on the Giants plus five, but like I said, I don't love it. Well, no opinion on the total. Sunday's games, we got the Browns favored three at the Bengals. 50's the total. I would uh, lean with the Bengals plus three. But I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Um, Browns have hurt me two weeks in a row, so I don't want that to happen again. Cowboys Redskins Redskins pick uh, 46 the total not the Redskins I should say two horrible teams two of the worst five teams in the league I'm not going to play this game I guess I'd lean with the Redskins but um, I'm not playing it and then we've got Lions out Falcons Falcons are favored one right now 55 is the total um I like the Lions in the over. Let me take the Lions plus one for unit. And then let's do the over 55 for half unit. So Lions plus one for unit. Lions, Falcons over 55 and a half for half unit. Panthers, Saints. Wow. Saints looks like it says minus nine plus 110. Um, here I'd lean with the Panthers. <clears throat> but... I'm not going to take anything on that. So, Carolina plus 9, minus 120, I guess. Lean there. Next game, Bills at Jets. Bills are favored 13, 45 is the total. I'd lean with the Jets plus 13, but, man, the Jets suck. Hard to take them right now. So, leave it for a lean <clears throat> with the Jets at the moment. Just a bad spot for the Bills. Bills play Patriots next week. They just got beat by Chiefs during short week. So, uh, lean with the Jets. Next game, Packers three and a half at Texans. I'm gonna do Texans plus three and a half for a half unit. Um, like the Texans at home plus three and a half. Bet for a close game. Um, <clears throat> half unit Texans plus three and a half. Next up, Seattle at Cardinals. It says Seattle minus three minus one thirty. So we'll call it three and a half. Um, I do like cards plus the three and a half. Get a full unit on that. Um, actually, let's do 1.5 units on the cards plus three and a half. I know they're on a short week. Seattle's on a um, off a of buy, but I like Arizona here to uh, upset Seahawks. I think Seahawks um, aren't as good as their undefeated record indicates. And I think cards are still a bit underrated, even though they've had two big wins off two shitty teams. But uh, cards plus three and a half for 1.5 units. Next game, Chiefs minus 10 at Broncos. Um, I'm going to skip this game. Not even really having a lean. Uh, next game, Bucks three and a half at Raiders. I want to go Raiders here plus three and a half, but the COVID thing. Fuck it. Let's go Oakland plus three and a half for half unit. The COVID scare with offensive line scares me, but I like Oakland plus three and a half for half unit. I think the Bucks are a bit overrated at the moment. They're good, but I just think they're a tiny bit overrated, and uh, Vegas has been good at home. Well, they lost the Bills at home, but they beat the Saints at home. 
Next game, Jags, Chargers. Chargers are favored 9, 49 is the total. Um, Jags are playing really bad offensively. I'm going to I'm going to skip that game for now, but check my Twitter. Might have a pick by game time. Um, actually I already passed this game. On the Houston game, where I like Houston, I'm also going to go over. It's really high. It's 57 and a half. But give me half unit on Houston Green Bay over 57. Okay. Now to Monday night football. Steelers Titans. Titans are favored 1, 50 and a half is the total. Um, I like the Titans here. Um, everyone's kind of saying how Tennessee's the worst undefeated team, which might be true, but um, they've, they're still a good team, and they're at home, and I think Pitt is a bit overrated here. I'm going to go a full unit on Titans, minus one, for those reasons. Uh, Bears-Rams on Tuesday, or sorry, this is the second Monday game. Rams favored six over the Bears. I like the Rams. Let's go Rams minus six for a unit. So I'm going to recap everything. We've got going backwards Rams minus six for a unit. Tennessee minus one for a unit. Um, we did the Vegas Raiders plus three and a half for half a unit. Oh, here's a game I missed 49ers Patriots. I do like the 49ers. 49ers plus two. Let's do a full unit on them. I also like them in a teaser. I'll throw a teaser out after I recap all these. So sorry, starting again. Rams minus six for a unit. Tennessee minus one for a unit. Um, Vegas Raiders plus three and a half for half unit. 49ers plus two for a unit. Cardinals plus three and a half for 1.5 units. Texans plus three and a half for half unit. Texans Green Bay over 57 for another half unit. Um, and then Lions plus one for a unit. The Lions Atlanta over 55 for a half unit. And then uh, tonight we're going with, um, don't love it, but Giants plus five for a half unit. So thanks for watching. If you watch the whole video, good luck if you're betting on the games. And uh, I hope to have all my records posted up here after this week, both on Twitter and YouTube. I've said that before, and I didn't come through, but uh, this time I mean it. We'll see.